And we have some busy ports on the central coast. They bring in commercial and recreational boats of all sizes. But what happens if a boat is in terrible shape? KSBY News anchor Scott Daniels went to Avila Beach to find out who's in charge if a boat leaks or worse. It's a picture-perfect day in Avila Beach. The same blue waves, the friendly marine life, and the familiar boats. Dancing Bear has been out there for quite some time. It actually paints a beautiful picture of our lovely Avila Beach Cove. We've all seen the boats parked along the pier. I'm told some have been here for decades. Well, what happens if they leak or even sink? And who's in charge for that environmental threat? The Harbor Patrol does annual checks. Some people who often use the pier, who didn't want to go on camera, tell me there are many boats out here that look like they're on their last sea legs. I see some of these boats out here. A lot of them look like they're in great condition. Some though, they look like they've been out here forever. Do you monitor these boats? We do daily boat checks. So we'll go out to our boats. Uh, part of that is we do a patrol of the mooring field and we'll go out and check the different zones for the moorings, um, inspecting more connections, the cleats, the way the, the vessel owner tied up and also the condition and the way the boat is riding the water. Harbor Patrol Chief Matthew Ashton says boats have sunk here before. He says the vessel turn-in program through the state has been helpful at preventing more boats from sinking. It gives boat owners whose boat may be in disrepair or in a financial sinkhole a chance to give it to the state and walk away free of charge. We have otters here, we have a lot of kelp beds, a lot of uh, sensitive marine life that doesn't really want to be swimming around diesel fuel and oil. Locals I spoke with are glad something is being done to prevent dangerous spills. Surely if they've been here for a long time, they should be maintained. Scott Daniels, KSBY News. And the Harbor Patrol also sends letters to warn mooring patrons before major storms that could damage those boats.